Good morning! Today we are going to do a fun little mini tutorial which is kind of an extra because the other day on the blog I did a tutorial on how to make these fun little scrappy Christmas cloth napkins. They're really cute. These ones are fun. They're good lunchbox sizes. You can put them under a mug. These bigger ones you just use at Christmas time. And I just took all the leftover scraps from my Christmas fabrics that I've been using to create things and I turned them into some fun cloth napkins. Doing that, I had extra scraps. I had scraps of my scraps. So today, I'm going to show you what we're going to do with some of those scraps as another fun project, which is super fast and super simple. So let's get started. So these are my leftover scraps from the actual tutorial where I sewed all the scraps together, then cut it up and made more things. And I still have leftovers. So what I did is I went out to the store and I got some of this Scotch indoor carpet tape and we're going to make our own fabric washi tapes today using our leftover Christmas scraps. So it's really simple. You're just going to take your tape out of the container like this. It comes nice and thick. You can choose what size you want to do it as you go. So we're going to do squares. I'm going to show you some fun things to do with them. You literally just peel your tape, lay it down on your table, take your scrap, and just put your scrap right on top. So gently roll that out. Now I'm going to use an exacto knife or a rotary cutter here. Now these will probably get all gummed up, so make sure it's not one that you're using for fabric or anything like that. That only went on a portion of our scrap, so we're just going to do it again. We're going to lay this out. We're going to take our tape, and I'm going to do it right next to it. Very carefully press that down, cut it off, and there's a little bit down there at the bottom, so I can either do that again, or I can cheat and just go, hmm. and now it fits. So I'm just going to trim up the edges real quick, just so that I don't have any of this tape sticking out all over the place. And then... Some of the fun things that you can do with this, so now we've basically made our fabric washi tape. I'm going to rub that down pretty hard in a second, but you can put it on a package, like this perfect little brown package here that's just kind of simple at this point. Just going to rub this down, make sure it's sticking really good. And we're going to peel the backing off this tape. Just takes a quick second to get that edge in there. Or maybe more than a quick second, depending on how good your nails are, I guess how talented you are, one of those two. We're just going to peel that off. We're going to do the same with the second piece. Peel that off, and I don't know if you can see, but now it's sticky. Okay? Now we're just going to take that, and we're going to put it right onto our brown bag. Now I might say, take some fun pom-pom and wrap that around, or I might just use a pin or a marker, a sharpie, and just doodle all around that. And I have a fun little Christmas gift back that was really simple. Another fun thing that we've decided that we're going to do with it is for all your neighbor gifts, just use the good old brown paper bag. Grab your treat, put it into your brown paper bag, fold your bag over, take another one of your ones. This one we pre-did just to make sure. And we're just going to again peel your backing off. I think this is the hardest part, is peeling the backing off. Everything else is pretty simple. And then we're just going to put this right over the top like this. There you go. Now I have a quick and simple neighbor Christmas gift that I can just send right out the door. One other thing we thought about was sometimes you have like these little teeny bits that are left over, and if your tape is a little bit longer, you might want to use two together and then just slice it back up. I love to journal, and I love my In the Leafy Treetops Mormon Mommy Planner. I know it sounds a little, little lame, but for me, it works really well for my family. And, um, and I like to decorate the planners. If you have planners, you kind of get this fetish for decorating them. And you like your stickers and all that kind of stuff. And so I'm just going to use this leftover bit, and I'm going to trim it up. And I'm actually going to take this part, and I'm going to put it right back on top of this, so that I can use that later. But now that I've 
brushed it on, I'm going to turn this into a little arrow, and I'm going to use it in my planner, because I need to know that we've got a Christmas party over at uh, Ashley Manor, where my daughter volunteers on the weekends, and then we need to get our Christmas gifts in the mail, because we're starting to get behind. So I'm going to turn this into a little arrow by just trimming off the edges there. And it's cute and fun and scrappy. And if you know anything about me, you know I like last minute and scrappy because that's kind of how my world seems to work. There we go. And now I have a fun little scrappy arrow to remind me of everything that I need to do for the rest of this week and to get my Christmas gifts in the mail. So this is a really fun, easy way to use up your last minute scraps. These were just fabric scraps. Sewed them all together, cut them back up. Use some of this fun scotch tape, it's carpet tape, and I made my own fabric washi tape. Really fun, really fast, and I hope you get to use it this Christmas for something fun to do. Have a great day. Bye.